I'm Father Mark Moriarty, and I'm pleased to welcome you to the Sacristy of the Church of St. Agnes in St. Paul, Minnesota. I'd like in particular to show uh, you this Rome investment and highlight some aspects of its brocade and also this wonderful embroidery. If we look at the bottom, we can see the medieval image of the pelican. In this image of the pelican, we can see the mother pelican opening up her breast to feed her young with her very blood. That was a medieval understanding of what pelicans would do, symbolizing selfless sacrifice. And of course, even though that's not naturally speaking accurate, it was an image that was used throughout the Middle Ages to be a natural depiction of what Christ ends up doing for us, feeding us with his very body and blood. We see here an image of Melchizedek. Melchizedek was an Old Testament priest. He was the king of Salem. And when he encountered Abraham, he offered to God on behalf of Abraham a sacrifice of wine and bread. I would make a request for our viewers. I cannot identify what language these words are. We're presuming that it stands for wine and bread. Uh, but I've been unable to identify uh, what language this comes from. And just so the viewers know, whenever there is a little dash above a letter, it means that some letters are missing. And usually the period means that as well. The letters that are missing are at the end. And so we have in the Old Testament the first time in which bread and wine are signified as an offering to God. And of course, what does this do? This prefigures our Lord's Supper, the Last Supper, where he transforms the bread and wine into his very body, blood, soul, and divinity. This perfect sacrifice, a sacrifice which allows us to receive the mercy of God and then allows us to be transformed by the very presence of Christ, welcomed lovingly in our hearts. And please look at the fine detail of this needlework. This is not printed, this is all needlework. If you wanna focus in on either the face of Christ or the face of what is likely the Apostle Peter, you can see that elegant and exquisite work that these artisans have made. On a personal note, this vestment is one of my favorites because in the brocade, if you look carefully, you will see a deer. This harkens to Psalm 42, as the deer longs, sicut cervus. I particularly like it because my prayer is that just as this deer is chained, immovable, so hopefully God will give me a deer with many points on its antlers that doesn't move so I can finally hit one. I have missed a few deer. On the front side of this vestment, we see the sacrifice of Isaac by Abraham. The son that Abraham so longed for, God as a test asked uh, Abraham to offer him up. But of course, if you look at the bottom, as soon as he was willing to offer his son, the angel stops him and says that there is a ram that he can use instead, the ram that is caught in the thicket. Something that's beautiful to point out is that as Isaac was carrying the wood of the sacrifice up the mount, he asks his father, but what is the sacrifice? And Abraham responds, the Lord will provide. And of course we know that our Lord provided his son, Jesus Christ, as the sacrifice so that we might have life. We can see in this vestment how sacred art teaches. We have nature teaching us. We have the Old Testament prefiguring the Last Supper. And then we have the Last Supper, of course, brought to us. Jesus giving himself 
to us for our life, for our salvation. Thank you for joining us today and watching our video. I hope to see you soon sometime at the Church of St. Agnes.